Hey everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Social You Should Know. It's we made it to week two. We did. We said it yeah. wouldn't last. No, we, we got a little streak going. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's going to end next week because of July 4th. But The ratings are through the roof, though, yeah. so we're definitely in, yeah. and we're, we'll be back. Literally tens of views. Tens. <laughs> uh, this is our effort to keep those who don't may not have the time to keep up with there's just so much going on in the social media marketing world. Uh, a little way to help them know about the things that are most prominent, most important. Um, if you would like to subscribe to our email blast, you can visit ignitesocialmedia.com. We send out a weekly email with three or four of the most prevalent topics uh, for that week. Uh, this week, uh, first topic, uh, Google Plus has come out with a lot of updates recently. And yeah. They're making some headway in the in the social media world. The Google Plus is such a it's an enigma shrouded in mystery, whatever that the expression is. Because you know it's it's interesting because I like what they're doing. I like the updates. I like where they're going. I like Hangouts. Uh, I, there's so many good things about Google Plus, um, and it so much impacts the search engine results that it's that it's something you can't ignore as a brand marketer. And on our team just found an update this week based on. She knew something was going on because there were choppers flying over our building and she did a search and there was a Google Plus update about it that led her to something. I was looking for something, I found a Google Plus update that got me the answer. So it impacts search, so that alone makes it for a compelling reason to use it for brands, but um, you know, the engagement is still really low. Well. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, I think when you look at like LinkedIn, there's a compelling reason for people to use it. Because uh, it's now the it's now the business platform. Mm -hmm. It used to be just resumes, and now it's business news. And they've made a lot of smart moves. And Facebook's our sort of social life where everybody is. And then you got the niche networks for video or all those kind of things. And there's Google Plus sitting here, and it's like, well, why should I use it as a person? Yeah. And I think they need that answer um, before it really gets interesting. Because some of our clients have many more. Um, a few of them have many more Google Plus followers than they have Facebook fans. But the engagement is one twentieth. So there's still work to be do to, to, to tell us as people why we should spend time on Google+. Plus. Yeah, it's a great... Whenever I happen to go on there for whatever reason, I always find that the, the format is fantastic, the visuals are great, but no one I know is on there. And that's right. kind of the, the deal breaker. Yeah. yeah. But we'll see. I, I, I like how they're dedicated to it. A lot of people give up when it doesn't work out, you know, in the first year or so. Well, and Google's given up a lot. They gave yeah. up with Buzz, they gave up with Wave, they gave up with Jaiku. I mean, they've given up on a reader, which it has everyone in a tizzy. We'll talk about that later. Um, but it, it seems clear to me, unless I'm reading it completely wrong, that they're in this one for the long haul. Yeah, it's good to see, but it's exciting to see where it goes. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's been a week since Instagram video has come mm -hmm. out. We've kind of had time to digest it. Um, you know, Vine has had their time to respond. So, where do you think the two are are going? I was disappointed, and I had, when we did last week's video, I hadn't had a chance to make my own video. And I went to a, a, a really interesting party Saturday night, and it was perfect for an Instagram video. Really, a better way to explain this party than any single photo I could take. Mm. So I did, you know, a couple of things, and I had my 15 seconds, and it said processing for three or four hours, and then it just deleted the video. Mm. And, uh, you know, that, that was pretty frustrating, particularly since Vine, for all its faults, it works. Yeah. And it works quickly. Yeah. Um, so I was frustrated by that. And, and the videos I've watched have been pretty boring, um, but most of them are trying my first Instagram video. So I think we have to give it time, but I, they, they clearly rushed the product. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they saw the competition and they had to get something out there. Um, and you're a video guy. That's your fancy camera. Yeah. What did you think? <laughs> Um, I, I like it. I, I like Instagram. I'm, I'm just a fan of the platform in general. Um, and I think the thing that made it so special was it was niche. They focused a lot on the presentation and how the user experience. And I think that got lost with the rush for this. So hopefully, given enough time, it'll get better. Yeah, business-wise, I know why they rushed. Yeah. As a user, it's a little frustrating. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we touched on Reader. So yeah. There was rumored that Facebook was going to do this, and they are going to come out with a reader. It's not quite like Google Reader. Though. Yeah, yeah. Well, I love watching. You know, I, I I'm a geek. I follow geeks on Twitter, and everyone's lamenting. Oh, Google Reader. Do I go to Feedly? Do I go to this? Do I go to that? And you know, come on. RSS never took off. It just never took off. And as social, um, 
you know, for me, I, I stopped using Reader because Twitter got so good. Mm. Um, and if it's interesting news, it's going to scroll by on my on my Twitter account probably multiple times. So I'm not really upset about that, but but other people are. And so Facebook getting into the mix seemed confusing to me until I think it was TechCrunch who outlined their plans and said it's not going to be like Google Reader where you subscribe to a blog and you get all the blog's content. It's more social where they'll surface more like Flipboard. They'll surface the stuff that's scrolling by on my Twitter feed, but hopefully they want it to be on the Facebook feed, and they'll surface interesting content on the topics that you care about. And I think between that and hashtags, I mean, Facebook is Facebook has a, has a boring problem right now. Mm. It seems to me that yeah. the updates I'm seeing are the same stuff, different day, and it's getting a lot less interesting, and if that keeps happening, page views are going to decline. So between hashtags, when we get a hashtag type event, like a Super Bowl, and, uh, and a reader... Th- those could be those could be smart moves. Yeah, definitely. I uh, I'm actually working on a blog post about how Facebook can improve its presentation through content. And yeah, it's definitely I, I'm getting the information. It's it's how it's presented to me. You know, is, mm-hmm. is it like a? Sometimes I see these. Uh, it might be a cool link, and it's just it's buried in this it's like a little tiny picture, and there's not right. much text, and I don't really know if it's important or not. So right. yeah, I think presentation is a, a big factor. In Absolutely, and and I think uh, you know Google uh, Google Plus has has worked on that. Yes. If if anyone was looking at it, they'd be in good shape. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for this week. Um, Be sure to subscribe to our email list, and you can follow us on Twitter at IgniteSMA. We will see you in two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Enjoy uh, our Independence Day, if you're American. (laughs) (laughs) Bye. Bye.